Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy Night Storm here. Welcome back to Revive the Witch. So, um, we're now in this part of the schedule. So we had uh, Tuonel recently before this and then Nicholas before that. This time we're going to be taking a look at Howen, which is a essentially her first featured banner. Uh, she was initially introduced through a battle pass and so this will be your first time being able to pull specifically for her and then after that we'll be taking a look at Kapla which I believe is going to be her first rerun since ever. So without further ado uh, as per usual when we take a look at these character reviews they are shown at max level active skills and max level passive skills. So before we start she is a Mercury Compiller so, uh, so it's obviously assume she'll be supporting magic teams. So her first skill is called Rabbit's Blessing. It costs three order to use and it grants the ally with the lowest HP a four second invincibility. So they'll basically be immune to everything essentially. And our second skill is called Fairyland. It is a charge skill. So quick recap on charge skills. Other dolls in the same team will um, activate a skill one charge will increase for Fairyland and then once you reach four charges it will consume all those charges and auto cast Fairyland which dispels buffs from all enemy targets and then reduces their magic defense by an amount equal to 40% of Howen's attack for 10 seconds. So pretty nice stuff there. There you go just if you wanted the end game explanation for that. Now last but not least Reverse the vision, her passive skill, Rabbit's Blessing applies to all allies, boosting their damage by 60% for 10 seconds. Uh, Rabbit's Blessing is the first skill, so rather than granting the ally of the lowest HP a 4 second invincibility, it will grant all allies, including herself, a 4 second invincibility and boosts their damage taken by, sorry, boost their damage dealt by 60% for 10 seconds which is pretty nice so overall her kit is it does no damage right if you've noticed her kit does no damage um the only damage that you'll be seeing from her is through her basic attacks which occur automatically like you, ha you have no control over that but other than that she has a nice hefty 60 percent damage boost not an attack increase or stuff like that just a straight up damage boost which is a nice um, external boost that is not really that common at the moment and then her charge skill dispels all buffs including you know for example um, a fallen's invincibility and a barrier that is also dispelled and then on top of that reducing their magic defense by 40 percent of her own attack but keep in mind her, her attack isn't really that as high as you know which is the same for all compellers, you know, their attack stat isn't that high, but it's still um, it's still a good difference when it comes to their magic defense reduction. So overall, her kit is interesting, right? It's pretty nice. Obviously, she has a lot of competition to face, you know, for example, Edeen, right, and Amanami. But let's see if her unique equipment makes a difference. So her unique equipment has already been released on top of the initial... Um, introduction through battle pass so we'll still be going over it though just for the formality of this video so her, so her unique equipment is called key of fantasy and what it does is when taking damage heals all allies for 27.5 percent of her own attack so as you can see um, i did mention that she had no healing in her kit that is because it is essentially locked in her unique equipment and so because of this taking damage thing um I think I think it still counts when you're taking damage whilst being immune, like whilst in invincibility. Because you still take immune damage, right? Like zero damage. So it, I think it still counts there. But yeah, essentially with this, you kind of want to have her up front, right? Because any instance of damage will heal all allies. And what that means is... What that means is... Uh, sorry about that, I had to clear my throat. In any case, what that means is even when taking normal attacks, you know, like basic damage that occurs automatically, she takes that kind of damage, she will still 
heal all allies even with that little damage so you know that is you know it has potential right to have good healing as well as dealing damage and so on but you kind of want to have her up front right just to ensure very consistent healing so overall you know i'd say her kit is pretty interesting right um i'm not too sure if it's um what do you call it if it affects the the uh, um the current meta when it comes to uh, dealing damage as fast as possible but she does have a nice niche kit which could be very nice for um cheesing stages right as long as you prioritize using her first skill um i think the order generation as long as you're able to regen three order every four seconds your team will be essentially permanently invincible but yeah um her design is pretty nice though um you know like a alice in wonderland kind of theme thing here it's like if you combined alice in wonderland alice and the uh, mad hatter you know the rabbit they put them together into one and you'll get someone like this who's got kind of like alice in wonderland type clothing and still have the bunny ears but in any case uh, overall um you can pull it on her if you want um, I do already have her on my other account, uh, not on my free-to-play account. So I'll be settling with that. So I'm not going to be doing the um, limited 50% uh, off summon. Because I am close to having a guaranteed doll in the Awakening battle. So um, I think I'll save that for someone else. In any case, if you got any more questions in regards to Howwin or Revived Witch in general, do let me know down in the comments below. Um, if I wasn't clear... Um, she is cool to have on the side, but currently she doesn't have like a proper use. So take that for what you will in terms of deciding if you want to pull. It's been your boy Nigel Storm. I'll see you guys in the next stream or video. Peace.